Today we look at the last I am statement that Jesus makes in the book of John. And this time the metaphor turns agricultural. In John 15 verse 1, Jesus says, I am the true vine and my father is the vine dresser. You know, in Old Testament Israel, it was very common to refer to God's covenant people, the Israelites, as a vine. In fact, some of the coins from a particular period in uh, Israel's history has a vine on it. And the magnificent temple that Herod uh, built for them had a massive gold vine on the front. And here's why. Kind of in the Old Testament, there was often this picture of uh, Israel being this vine in a desert. And God reaches down and he digs out that vine. He clears a space for it in a new fertile land. He transplants them into that fertile land, waters it so that it can grow. It's this wonderful picture of God rescuing them from slavery in Egypt and taking them to the promised land. However, when it's used in the Old Testament, it's actually almost always used negatively because God will go on to say, but this vine that I transplanted has turned sour as he refers to their unfaithfulness and their idol worship. So when Jesus comes and says, I am the true vine, it's a magnificent gospel picture because what he's saying is, I am now here to do what no one else could do. I am here to be your obedience, to be your righteousness so that the covenant blessings that God had intended for his people can now be appropriated, but not through your own obedience and righteousness because we can't do it, but through Jesus Christ being our obedience and righteousness. It's a marvelous picture. The blessings that come to us who are in Jesus Christ, who fulfilled our obedience and our righteousness. However, as marvelous as that is, uh, the means of producing growth in us are, however, still a little difficult. That's why verse 2 goes on to say, Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes so that it may bear more fruit. And so the means of appropriating some of these covenant blessings is what Jesus calls pruning. And pruning is it's an act of love by the gardener. It's a gardener showing care for a branch, protecting it, but then cutting it away so that it can become even more beautiful, even more fruitful. So it actually shows great care. It's beautiful, but it's cutting. It hurts. And I just wonder if this coronavirus season isn't perhaps Jesus pruning us, those that are in him, like he's very delicately, carefully uh, helping us become more beautiful, more fruitful, but the process is still difficult. So what do we need to do? What do we need to focus on in this time? Well, the passage goes on, and it's easy. It's one word, abide. Verse 4, Jesus goes on to say, abide in me, and I will abide in you. Just as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. And so I wonder if in this lockdown season, if coronavirus, if this isn't just a special opportunity to focus on abiding in Jesus, and as difficult as the pruning is, as we abide in him, we become even more fruitful and some of these covenant blessings become ours and we become channels of them to others. May God use this season in that way in our lives.